Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about another news from crypto.com and that is they changed their staking rates yet again. So we're going to dive into the detail of that exactly what they did and the rules that they implemented. And also towards the end of the video, we're going to do a little bit of technical analysis of CRO USD and CRO BTC, whether I believe CRO is going to go start its next bull run. So if you like that kind of content, um, I would definitely appreciate it if you guys could give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel, guys. It's really, really close. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. I really want to get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, next week, actually, is my birthday, October 31st, 1992. Yes, I'm old. So the best birthday gift for me, guys, is to finally hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. I'm almost halfway. So... You know, I definitely appreciate it if you guys help me out there. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so let's get started with the news that they sent me. So they sent me an email. This was, I believe, a couple of days ago. So it's been 48 hours now since this news dropped. And so as one of their customers, they sent me this email regarding the change in the sticking requirements. So this change is effective November 2nd. So from the time of me shooting this video, we have roughly one week by the time I upload this video when crypto.com will implement this change. So finally, for the first time, they're giving us a little bit of time leeway because during the MCO CRO, it was sort of sudden. Um, the CRO staking was, was sudden. So this one, one week leeway, you know, that's, that's not that bad. So let's talk about the, that leeway. So what they're doing, guys, is they're changing the staking rates for the CRO cards. I know I keep saying MCO, MCO is stuck in my head, but MCO no longer exists. So basically, these are CRO cards. We'll, we'll actually talk about this later because I made a Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so let's talk about three rules that they implemented. So cardholders who maintain their current CRO card stake will continue to enjoy benefits. So basically, if you guys have whatever card you guys have right now, you, you, you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to, for example, for example, if you guys have the Ruby card, you don't have to stake more in order to keep your benefits. That, that's going to be weird, guys. They're, they're not going to make you do that. If you guys have the green card, you don't have to do anything. Same with the icy white and the obsidian black. You guys don't have to increase your stake if you, are, if you guys are already old members. All right, so the new staking requirements will apply should the cardholder upgrade their card or unstake and restake their CRO card after November 2nd. So let's talk about that real quick. So basically between now and November 2nd, this is your last chance guys to take advantage of the extremely low staking requirements for CRO. Because right now, for example, the uh, my card, the Jade Green, currently right now it's 10,000 CROs to stake the Jade Green. But after November 2nd, it's gonna be, it's gonna be 25,000. So if you, guys, if you guys really want the Jade Green card, I would suggest to stake now because after November 2nd, then it's going to be too late. You guys will have to stake at the 25,000 CRO requirement. And also what this is saying is also, if you guys unstaked your card in the past, so let's say sometime a few months ago, let's say in September, you unstaked your CRO. So you basically have zero CRO now because you unstaked you have one more chance to restake your card again before November 2nd in order to take advantage of the lower CRO stake. Because if you wait till after November 2nd, you guys will have to pay the 25,000, not really pay, but stake 25,000 CRO, even though you guys are already old customers. Just because you unstaked, you know, they, they don't care about that. November 2nd is the cutoff deadline. Okay, so one last thing is gonna be the card upgrade fees are waived between October 23rd, 2020, which I believe is right now, all the way up until November 2nd of 2020. So typically guys, whenever you guys upgrade your card, so from the ruby to the, to the green, from the green to the IC gold, and from the gold to the black, you guys typically pay a $50 upgrade fee. But between now and November 2nd, if you guys truly wanna take advantage, so Crypts.com is basically letting you guys take advantage of the lower CRO requirements before, um, they start charging you guys the $50 charge again, which typically they do that, guys. So typically, whenever you upgrade your car, they charge you $50 for upgrading. But between now and November 2nd, no charge. All right, guys, so let's look at the Excel spreadsheet now that I made. And then later, very briefly, we're going to look at technical analysis and whether I think CRO is a good buy or not. Okay, guys, so this is the Excel spreadsheet that I made between 
all of the cards and the old staking requirement and the new staking requirement. So obviously Midnight Blue, that doesn't change. There's no staking required for Midnight Blue. You guys can get that 1% cash back all the way. All right guys, so the Ruby. So the Ruby old staking requirement is 1,000 and it's jumping to 2,500. Jade Green, currently that's my card. Old staking requirement is 10,000. It's gonna jump to 25,000. And then the Frosted Gold, I see white. It's currently at 100,000 CRO. It's gonna jump to 250,000. And finally, Obsidian Black, super hard to get. It's 1 million CRO required. It's gonna jump to 2.5 million. So as you see, pretty much across the board, all the cards, they increase their CRO staking requirement by 25%. So let's just assume, guys, that the CRO price is roughly about 10 cents, guys. I know it's been fluctuating a lot especially with all the news that's been happening, it's been fluctuating a lot, but I would say 10 cents is sort of that, that, that median price. So we'll keep it there. So currently right now, it just takes $100, guys. If you really want to try out CRO, crypto.com, it only takes $100 just for their bottom tier card, which even their bottom tier card, guys, is really amazing. You get 2% cash back. I don't know, not many debit cards around there give you 2% cash back. And also if you guys are interested and you guys don't have the card already, I have my affiliate link down below. Again, it doesn't cost you guys anything extra, but it does help me in the growth of my channel. I currently don't make any money from YouTube right now, so the only source of revenue I make is referral fees. If you guys don't have the card already. But if you do, I hope you enjoy the card because I do. All right guys, so let's move on to the green card. And then Jade Green card currently at $1,000. It's not bad, guys, especially with all the benefits that the Jade Green card gives you at 3% cash back. But after November 2nd, it's gonna be 2,500. So it gets really steep, guys. So if you guys really want the green card, I would probably go for it now if you guys really want it. All right, so next is the IC White, currently at $10,000. But then again, you know, um, I know that sounds expensive, but the fact that they give you 2% extra on your crypto private, I know, the one advantage, if, if I had the money, I would definitely go for this because one thing I love about the perks of this card is a 2% extra for your crypto earned. Like for example, if you stake stable coins right now, you currently can stake them for three months at a 12% rate. But if you have the IC white card, you can stake them at a 14% rate. Can you imagine that guys? You can hold cash and get 14% APR year over year. That's pretty cool. But I can't afford this card right now. so. But anyway, the current staking requirement for IC White is 10,000 and it's gonna be 25,000. So much, much harder after November 2nd. And finally, the Obsidian, the Obsidian card, I bet no one really has this, but anyway, right now it costs 100,000 to stake that. It has like private jet benefits. But after November 2nd, it's gonna be 250,000 to stake that. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Um, not, many, not many people can afford this card, even even if I could, why would I have a portfolio of $250,000 worth of CRO? I would you know, rather have that in Bitcoin or Ethereum. I mean, I'm a big CRO bull, but that's a lot of CRO to hold, guys. That's a lot. But anyway, guys, um, so let's move on to technical analysis. And let's look at the chart of CRO USD and then also CRO BTC. And I'll let you guys know whether I believe CRO is a good buy in the short slash midterm and then obviously the long term. So let's move on to the charts right now. Okay guys, so this right here is the CRO to USD chart that I pulled up in TradingView. So, and you know, I honestly can't believe this happened so fast guys because th this was only about a week ago. The, a week ago, um, the price of CRO was about uh, right here at this level, um, so somewhere around 11, 12 cents. So I, I told you guys that it had the potential to test this moving average, this 20-week 20, this 20 moving average. So this was about a 29, 30% drop. And it only took a week. So I, I predicted wrong. I thought this would play out over the next few weeks. You know, so I, I thought that CRO would bottom maybe sometime at the end of October, early November, but instead we bottom right now. So, you know, um, do I believe we have room to the downside? A little bit. So we still have a little bit of room to the downside. So I think our risk to the downside is between the price level here and all the way at this moving average. Do I believe CRO USD will breach this moving average? Um, anything is possible, guys. But in my opinion, um, I personally don't think so. So our risk, in my opinion, is only 13% to the downside. So not as bad as a week ago, because a week ago, 
I had the opinion that we had a 30% risk, but we've already retraced guys. So our only risk is 13% of the downside, but, but look at this guys, we've already wicked down there. If you get, if you guys see this week, uh, hold on one second, let me add my brush. All right guys, if you guys see this wick right here, right there where I circled, look at that wick. We've basically touched the moving average. So in terms of retracing, we've already done that. So what do I think is gonna happen? I, I mean, obviously I can't tell the future, but in my opinion, um, the best scenario for CRO, the most realistic scenario for CRO is gonna be to move sideways. So if we can maintain this 10 cents to 12 cent range in the next few weeks, that, that's bullish for me. You know, if we can just maintain that, that range, that's really bullish for me. Um, and I think that's the most realistic scenario. Obviously, for, for any of you guys that hold a lot of CRO, you would wanna see CRO back at 18 cents again in the, in the near future, but I highly doubt that's possible because one thing, guys, um, back then whenever MCO was burned and for people that swapped their MCOs to CROs, we got CRO for free for swapping MCO to CRO. So imagine there's gonna be a lot of people that dump their CRO after the earn expires. I believe the bonus for the CRO bonus expires in about seven or eight days. So in about seven or eight days, we could have a massive dump for people that swap their MCOs to CROs. They might dump the CRO bonus that they got from back in August. So I would keep an eye out for that, guys. So with that in mind, I don't think we're gonna moonshot up to 18 cents in the near future because there's gonna be a lot more uh, dumping that's gonna happen in about a week. Definitely bullish news that crypto.com increased their staking requirements. Definitely bullish for the price of CROs, but it gets countered by the potential of people dumping their CRO bonuses. So it's gonna be bearish if a lot of people dump their CRO. Um, and if, if we breach this moving average, then yeah, it's bad news for CRO guys. If we breach this moving average, then we'll potentially see, you know, the five cents, six cents, seven cents CROs. Um, you know, it could happen guys, but I think it's more, it, it's less likely to happen in my opinion. I think at the very least we'll test this moving average, which is about at, you know, nine cents or so, eight or nine cents at, at, at the very lowest in my opinion. All right guys, so finally, let's look at the CRO BTC chart. So the CRO BTC chart doesn't look good because BTC has been rallying guys. If, I don't know what the price of Bitcoin is gonna be by the time I upload this video, but basically the price of Bitcoin is at 13,000 something right now. So Bitcoin is definitely rallying. Um, so in terms of the CRO BTC ratio, you would have been better off holding BTC compared to CRO. Because right now we breached this moving average, so it's gonna take a while before CRO can outperform Bitcoin. Um, if you see here, let's actually do a little bit of a forecast. Let me pull out my brush. So this is the 200 week moving average. We'll probably move slightly downward sideways. So more probably sideways, we'll probably move sideways, right? But if we can't keep up, um, this is the 20 week moving average, guys. So we'll probably massively accelerate downwards, this 20 week moving average. and. The best scenario for CRO guys is if this 20 week moving average sort of bottom sometime in Q1, early Q2 of 2021, right there. Um, it would definitely be bad news if we, if we cross on the downside, if we go on the downside, but I, I highly doubt that guys. I think that CRO as a company is doing a lot of things. So I think we will have support there. So in terms of the CRO BTC ratio, BTC, BTC will outperform CRO in the short term between now and Q1, in my opinion. But after we bottom sometime in Q1 of 2021, that's when I think CRO will start to accelerate and outperform Bitcoin. So for any of you guys that already are happy with your card right now, let's say you have the green card and you're not really looking at increasing your CRO stack um, and you wanna increase your CRO stack, but I would probably wait if, if I were you guys. I would wait until sometime in Q1 of 2021 when this CRO BTC ratio starts to bottom out and we, we start to see a little bit of bullish momentum where we see maybe a weekly candle print on the upside, like a green weekly candle. Obviously right now it's super bearish. Bitcoin is outperforming CRO, CRO right now. But obviously if you guys don't have the card yet, let's say you have zero CRO and you really want the card 
then yeah, I mean, get the Ruby card. It's only $100, it's not bad. And if you have a little bit of money, the green card, it's only $1,000. But I'm just saying, if you guys wanna accumulate more CRO, um, I would definitely wait, guys. This is not financial advice, guys. This is only my opinion, only my analysis. At the end of the day, you guys do whatever you want. You guys know what's best for yourself. But yeah, guys, so thank you for watching the video and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.